Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, we are going for a smaller Celtic cross for this one. Let's find out together what's coming through for you. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you. Girl Talk. Time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Bottom of the deck. The Phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew, transformation, growth, changed mind. Let's also pull from this Oracle deck. Let's see. We get romance, helpful people, well, time with friends after all. Bottom of the deck, be assertive. Let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies. The be assertive oracle card kind of vibes like knowing what you are looking for and this is quite a starting point if I may say And we are ready now. Patient shuffle for you guys. Current situation. Nine of swords. The challenge. Nine of cups. Well, quite a contrast. Crowning energy. Four of wands. Core of the situation. The star. Past energies. Queen of cups. Future energies. Possible outcome. King of swords. The focus. Judgment. We are going to clarify also the judgment major arcana bottom of the deck we have the queen of swords well this is interesting and it kind of addresses the issue because this can be a second chance for some of you guys uh, it can be a reconciliation for others uh, the judgment goes with a divine truth that can work as a revelation, major realization. There can be a, a match on an energy level. Uh, a meeting of the minds, but also with a lot of heart involved in the situation. The Four of Wands can be a marriage for those of you, or a commitment, let's say, for those of you that can resonate with the second chance scenario it can be a higher goal for those of you single or with the opportunity to deal with a new person basically plus the queen of swords is um, an energy that can uh, be associated to the be assertive one and attention to the details it goes also with the king of swords Plus, one more time, bottom of the Queen of Swords, we have the Ace of Cups and bottom of the Ace of Cups, the Four of Cups. That can be a closed off approach. Makes sense if we are thinking about a scenario where there is an apology involved or if there is a new offer in order to ignite a new connection. So basically, the Nine of Swords, guys, an energy of the mind that most of the times, as I usually say, is self-inflicted. It's a mindset. We need to release it. Otherwise, we cannot think things straight. We cannot channel, for example, Queen of Swords energy. This can be about questions and doubts. And 
it can be about should I reconcile with a former lover, for example, or can I find a person for me in order to move towards four of ones um, scenarios? It's about fulfilling wishes, basically, the evaluation and the nine of caps in the challenge is meaningful, but it is something that should be addressed in particular if we consider the scenario that is about a second chance. Because if something didn't work the first time and there is the opportunity to try again, we should address in a clear way in an honest way all the issues in order to figure out if it is possible to embrace for example the ace of cups energy and so let's find out a little bit more let's start with the uh, judgment in the focus divine truth offered to those that are open to receive it big revelation major realization it is an energy that finds roots in the past two cards for the judgment eight of cups which is an energy that is about leaving something behind makes sense if we think about a second chance and the three of ones this is a standby a waiting we can say that it is about expectations that's why I was saying that if it is a reconciliation, we need to be extremely precise and honest. Because for me, reconciliation is just a word. It's a label. We need to pay attention to the intentions, the actions and the effort in order to understand if two persons can make things work in their favor. Otherwise, we are talking about a word, you know? Let's see the Nine of Swords. Struggling a little bit with questions and doubts, monkey mind, touch of anxiety. This one wanted to come out. Two of Wands, soulful decision. The word that the man is holding in his hand can be the completion of the connection if this is a second chance and for those of you that are dealing with a new person this is a decision that can be an influence for the following chapters of the journey as I usually say and you need to take a moment a moment to breathe a moment to uh, get in touch with your intuition so that we can figure out how can we achieve wishes? Nine of Cups in the challenge. Let's go for it. Page of Wands. This can be a spark of interest, a, a spark of passion and desire. Teeny tiny bit of passion. Awkward and goofy as I usually say, but deserving of attention. If this is a new connection, this can be something that is simple but meaningful. If this is a second chance, we need to figure out if the interaction is purely a matter of passion. Because if that's the case, we may have to talk a little bit more let's see the four of ones guys uh, crowning position 11 11 card let's say hi to the train also 11 11 card for a lot of readers um, it's a soulful partnership uh, solid foundations um, the chance to move towards ultimate celebration 
for some of you it can be a desire for a marriage uh, others of you may have been married and there can be the opportunity to try again with your former partner knight of cups there is a love offer there is a love offer that can be shared and um, there is potential guys the knight of cups is first and foremost an energy that can resonate with the queen of cups plus the knight is in touch with his heart and that's why he is comfortable when it comes to share feelings and emotions the queen can like that this is important and so if it is a new connection it's interesting on an energy level and if it is a potential reconciliation well there can be a simple approach in order to reignite a spark of interest that can be even funny but um, if we are able to bring feelings emotions and love to the table well the situation becomes um, even more interesting let's see the star guys core of the situation um, an energy about wish fulfillment we can say that it is also about healing hope transparency vulnerability displaying our true colors displaying our true self the lady completely naked in front of the universe she doesn't care she's amazing here we go ten of swords so the scenario about a second chance becomes particularly prominent something something ended there was a completion that can even be considered as particularly disappointing and overwhelming but for those that can resonate the one that got away is back asking for a new chance and for those of you dealing with a new person something in the past didn't work about previous connections but the star is the type of energy that can facilitate the healing process and it is an opportunity to understand the type of connections for example that can be in alignment with our expectations and this can be a big realization this combination can truly be something that resonates with the phoenix oracle card rising from the ashes queen of cups nine of swords so it is a matter of feelings and emotions um, meaning that for those of you that were able to get in touch with your heart along the journey maybe you were disappointed by previous interactions or you were disappointed by this person coming back if you resonate and now there is even more the necessity to get in touch with your heart in order to understand what can be the best choice uh, to make in this situation regardless of the fact that this can be a second chance or a new love interaction let's go for the king of swords guys always keeping in mind the queen of swords that we have seen precise communication um, straight to the point honest sincere and uh, truthful no mind games accepted a lot of clarity to cards judgment here we go hermit i love it guys i love it because within the lantern of the hermit there is the star and so by going within by embracing an introspection those of you that will have to evaluate a potential second chance can find your clarity also thanks to a conversation that can be shared with this special person in order to realize if it is possible to embrace this ace of cups so basically if it is possible to rekindle 
a connection by embracing a transformation because we need to release for good the factors that may have caused the Ten of Swords in the past. And for those of you that can evaluate a new interaction, uh, the singlehood that has allowed you guys to unlock secrets about the journey when it comes to the type of partnership that you are trying to manifest, the process can facilitate the big revelation uh, coming from the judgment. For those of you single and uh, dealing with a new person, this can be a meeting of the minds and a meeting of the hearts. Bottom of the smaller deck, we have the Eight of Swords, which is a stuck energy, but we know that the lady feels like there is no way out, when in reality the way out is right in front of her. She just doesn't see it. She needs to go with the water. Feelings and emotions. Feelings and emotions uh, come to play when a conversation is shared. It's a consequence. And this is about intentions going with the three of wands guys because if it is a second chance we need to be extremely clear about what we are thinking the connection can offer in our favor in favor of the other person uh, in favor of the two of us basically and if it is a new um a new opportunity with a new person, well, can this connection represent the chance to move towards four of ones? This is the point. And there can be, there can be um, a promising turn of the events at hand. So guys, some more oracle cards for guidance. Considering these energies, we get wandering path, enjoy the journey. This can be about the Eight of Cups going all out on an adventure, pursuing ultimate emotional fulfillment. The Eight of Cups can even speak uh, to some of you, uh, meaning embracing the journey. And the Hermit is the type of energy that can allow you guys to find the clarity that you are seeking. It is something that you can achieve. Wise leader, you are a beacon for others. Well, wisdom going with the hermit for sure, but also brilliant energies of the mind with the king of swords and the queen of swords. This can be in favor of you guys and also in favor of the person that you are dealing with, regardless if it is um, a second chance or a new connection. Voyage of the heart, love flows through you and to you. Well, the Eight of Cups man can go on a voyage of the heart and we have, after all, these Ace of Cups, the Nine of Cups that on an energy level deserve attention. Stepping into power, you are strong beyond measure. There is another picture with a lantern and it seems that by paying attention to the factors that can truly be perceived as a source of potential success, I would say, you can figure out if a second chance is the best uh, possible opportunity in favor of a connection with a special person that has history with you guys or if a new interaction can represent the opportunity to move towards success in the love arena the chance to celebrate moving forward be assertive is a crucial energy in order to understand if love can be reignited or embraced as a brand new connection there is potential guys the phoenix can rise in the two scenarios so guys i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful let us know if you resonate comment like share subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you all the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye